Yo, what's going on, dudes? We're back with another Bloon CD6 video. And in today's video, we are going to be challenging the Elite Bloonarius on the map Town Center. So we're going to be going with a pretty basic strategy here. We're going to be going for a Dart Monkey to start off with. And then, of course, we'll grab our Benjamin as soon as we have enough money. Like, uh, so. And now that we have our Benji boy, we need to go ahead and start going for a couple of farms. Now, the only problem I foresee on this map is there's not a lot of room to place a lot of farms, I think. So we have a, this area down here, which is actually pretty big. We have this area over here. We can also play. Oh, we could actually place Merchantmen, too. Ooh, maybe we'll go with a little bit of a different farming strategy this time. But then again. And the merchantman strategy was nerfed quite a bit hmm i'm not sure uh, i think i'll start off like i usually start off with with a couple of mar marketplace nothing too big i uh, will also go for our engineer to make us a little bit of extra cash as well so i think as far as like our early game farming goes it's going to be pretty base or pretty similar to what we've been doing so the first thing we do in every uh, boss event after we get our benjamin placed down is we always grab ourselves a 200 banana farm and now because these balloons are giving our dart monkey a little bit of a hard time i'm gonna go ahead and buy myself an engineer monkey which we should be able to afford the engineer here in just a second there we go there's enough money for our engineer and with this engineer i'm going to go ahead and place him right here so we have some straight lines of sight now that we have our engineer placed down the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and buy ourselves some more banana farms man i'm playing on town center and i realize it's been forever since i've actually done anything on this map like i don't even remember the last time i played on the map town center even just like messing around man like doing this in Boston series is definitely going to make it so i play some of the maps that i really don't play very often which is kind of cool all right so round 17 we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our engineer monkey then of course we need to buy ourselves some more farms all right round 22 we're gonna go ahead and buy our bubble guns on our engineer monkey and we're also gonna buy a larger service area as well now that we have our five banana farms placed down the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start upgrading these banana farms up to marketplaces there's our first marketplace there's our second marketplace. Now in round 27, the next thing we want to do is we want to buy ourselves an alchemist. We'll place this alchemist right here. Swap his targeting over to targeting Sean. And then we need to instantly start going for a lead to gold. There's our lead to gold. Now we also want to buy larger potions. Now it's back to upgrading some more of our banana farms up to marketplaces. Round 33, we're going to upgrade this dart monkey up to crossbow with very quick shots. Then round 34, we upgrade our last banana farm. And now we're going to come back over here to our engineer monkey. And then we're going to upgrade this engineer monkey up to balloon trap. And then of course, we need to target our engineer monkey over here. So it's dropping our box out of its range and then we're also going to upgrade this alchemist up to rubber to gold now in round 38 we're going to sell this dart monkey in the very back like so then we're going to grab ourselves a monkey village place this monkey village right here upgrade it to monkey business and monkey commerce then we're going to grab ourselves another monkey village place this village right here and upgrade it to monkey business and monkey commerce as well then we're going to upgrade this monkey village up to bigger radius and we're going to grab ourselves a one boomerang monkey upgrade this boomerang monkey up to more glaze with longer range and red hot ranks and we're going to grab ourselves a second boomerang monkey and upgrade it to the same exact pathway after we have a both of our more glaives we're going to go ahead and upgrade the, this monkey village up to primary training and then primary mentoring and now the next thing we need to do is we need to buy ourselves a ninja monkey and upgrade this ninja monkey up to uh, sticky bombs that way we have ample defense up against uh, balloon areas because if we don't have sticky bomb we're definitely not going to be able to deal enough damage to the boss balloon now as far as these sticky bombs are concerned we'll go ahead and buy like three or four of them all right there's our second sticky bomb and let's go ahead and place down the third sticky bomb right there like so and then we just need a little bit more money to uh upgrade the, this last sticky bomb Bomb. there is our third sticky bomb now unfortunately i think we are gonna have to go with the uh, fourth sti sticky bomb like i thought so we'll go ahead and come over here we'll place another sticky bomb right here that way its range is a little bit larger especially since it's the boss balloon and now that we have four sticky bombs the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start buying ourselves some banana farms and i also want to make sure i'm paying attention for camo balloons because if we get like a big rush of camo balloons uh or don't think our ninjas are actually gonna be able to deal with them and there we go we have officially dealt with all of these ceramic balloons now the next thing we're gonna do let's go ahead and slow this down a bit we'll remove this ninja monkey there we'll place a balloon jitsu upgraded to a seeking shurikens here next we'll sell all of these um actually i'm gonna go ahead and sell this balloon jitsu because i want it to be over here that way i get that double discount and we're still making money from our rubber to gold and then we'll go ahead and grab ourselves an alchemist with the double discount as well upgrade it to stronger stimulant and then we'll go ahead and get rid of both of our more glaives and we'll grab ourselves our first banana research facility then we'll place down an uh engineer monkey over here and then we'll upgrade this engineer monkey up to overclock and then we'll start overclocking our banana farm there we go now that we're overclocking our banana farm let's go ahead and buy ourselves more banana farms and we're gonna continue farming all the way up until like round 57 then once we get up to round 57 we're gonna go ahead and start going for an avatar brass man i play so many boss events and i still make stupid mistakes like we need to save up ten thousand dollars and then once we have the ten thousand dollars i need to sell my ban or my marketplaces that way we can buy banana research facilities that are gonna make us more money i was like how am i gonna make money like i barely have any cash and it's round round 51 and i forgot that 
I sell my marketplaces. I mean, just having a little bit of a brain fart moment there. All right, so let's go ahead and sell two more of our marketplaces, and then we'll grab another banana research facility. And of course, we need more banana plantation or more banana research facilities. Now, since we only have one marketplace left, the next thing we need to do is we need to wait until we have fifteen thousand dollars, and then we'll go ahead and sell the last marketplace in order to buy one more banana research facility. Now, unfortunately, we were only able to afford five banana research facilities, and I think it's because I messed up my farming a little bit by not selling my marketplaces as soon as I should have. I right, so like I was saying, we are going to be using the Avatar Wrath to deal with the boss plan. So we'll go ahead and place the Druid right here, and then let's go ahead and buy all of the other Druids that we're going to need in order to get the five times buff on our Avatar Wrath. And that should do it. So let's go ahead and start upgrading this boy up to the Avatar Wrath. So the first thing that I'm going to buy is I'm going to buy our Avatar Wrath, and then after we buy our avatar wrath that's when i'll start upgrading my other towers up to pop less but of course i should probably grab like a heart thorns and a heart of thunder let's go ahead and buy a radar scanner that way we can deal with these like, camo balloons oh man i ended up messing up a little bit there but it's fine not a big deal at all all right, so now we need enough money in order to buy our Avatar Wrath, which we should have enough money uh, just as long as we don't buy anything unnecessary. All right, so there's our Avatar Wrath. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to buy ourselves a bunch of Poplets. Now, I believe that we don't need to worry about any balloons slipping through, but I am worried about those balloons right there. So let's go ahead. We'll buy ourselves a Boomerang Monkey as like a little bit of a safety net. Let's go ahead and throw a more glaives in the very back here just to deal with any of the balloons that our Avatar Wrath can't deal with. Also, we need to start buying some more Poplets. There's three Poplets and here's our fourth one in just a second there's our fourth pop plus and then we just need one more pop plus and then we'll be good to go then we might as well upgrade all of these druids up to a thorn swarm so now that we've done all that the next thing i want to do is i want to go ahead and start buying more farms and then once we pretty much have the boss dealt with we'll go ahead and buy our banana central or start saving with the, saving up for the banana central all right there we go there's another banana research facility all right there we go uh we'll go ahead and start saving up before our banana central now uh, i think we should be able to afford our banana central in just a couple of rounds uh, because obviously we're going to sell pretty much every single one of our tower to buy a crossbow master and then once we have our crossbow master uh we'll go ahead and uh save up the rest of our money to buy ourselves the banana central okay so there's our crossbow master now let's sell the rest of our towers that we uh, don't need uh so that includes the or all of our other money making towers like of course the alchemist and the engineer monkey now we just need a little bit more money in order to afford our banana central and then after we get our banana central i'm gonna go ahead and play things a little bit differently uh actually you know what we'll just go ahead and go for a couple of brfs and then we'll wait to buy uh murder merchantman until we beat the tier three because i want to make sure that i can afford to buy my uh apex plasma master on tier three I was, I was going to give it the Mert Richman strategy a try, but I don't know how bad the Merchantman ended up getting nerfed. Right, so, I mean, we have a decent amount of banana farm placed down. Let's go ahead and place down a couple more. All right, round 75, we're going to go ahead and stop buying a BRF, so, but I am going to buy myself one central market with long life bana bananas and valuable bananas. Actually, I think we can afford to buy two of them, and then we need to buy 10 of these. That way we can get like the max buff on the Merchantman. Round 77, I ended up playing it a little bit further than I would like, but it's going to be a perfectly fine we should still be able to afford the apex plasma master relatively quickly all right so there's our crossbow master now let's go ahead and buy yourself another dart monkey we'll place this dart monkey right here uh upgrade it to the ultra juggy and then we need to buy one more dart monkey and this dart monkey is of course going to be our plasma monkey fan club now i'm placing the apex plasma master a little bit further back in the map because we're not going to be able to afford to upgrade to the apex because we're not going to have enough money so we're going to have to let the blue nays progress a little bit through the map but that should be perfectly fine we should have enough money to afford the apex if we don't have enough money we can always sell a couple of our farms to make up the difference all right so round 80 we have 112,000, so we need another hundred thousand uh, dollars in order to sell five of our banana research facilities in order to buy the apex which we actually ended with a lot less money than i initially thought we would have i wonder where i fell behind with my farming like i thought i was doing good with my farming but apparently i wasn't um actually yeah let's just let's let, let's go ahead and do what we nor we normally do i was gonna say we could let the blue nares progress a little bit further but i think that would be a little bit too much of a risk so let's go ahead and sell five of our farms like so and there's the apex 
Now we'll go ahead and let the Apex to finish off Lunarius while we rebuy our, all the farms that we just sold. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do is I want to upgrade my Engineer Monkey up to Ultra Boost. And then we'll go ahead and buy ourselves a uh, big plane. And with this a big plane, we're going to go ahead and upgrade it to the Flying Fortress so that we can start getting some pops on our Flying Fortress. And that's the third tier Lunarius down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, there's our Flying Fortress. And now uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a couple more banana farms. Now the next thing we want to do, uh, let's save up the money for the monkey wall street which we actually had enough money to begin with that's awesome uh now we need to grab ourselves a couple more banana farms up here we'll upgrade these up to the central markets and then we'll try to grab ourselves a couple of monkey buccaneers to see if it's going to make a little bit of a difference with our in with our income all right so now we have the 10 central markets placed down let's go ahead and start going for like trade empire and all of our flavored trades so we'll grab the neighbor of the seas for the tier for the tier four boss as long as we get the, what, $550,000 in order to afford it. Round 99, we need $150,000 more dollars in order to buy the Navark of the Seas, which we should be able to afford it here in just a second. A little bit more Casherino, and there's our Navark. Perfect. Now that we have our Navark of the Seas, the next thing, oh my goodness, these balloons are making it really, really far. But luckily, we have the Flying Fortress as well as our other towers in the back of the map. Otherwise, we might be in a little bit of trouble. But now that we've done all of that, let's go ahead and start buying some more Monkey Buccaneers. Uh, not upgrade that path. We need the bottom pathway. That way, we can make a little bit more Casherinos. There's our Trade Empire. All right, so we have a few uh, Merchant Men and not too many. Now we just need to finish dealing with the actual boss. So it looks like we're doing pretty decent i should probably grab a little bit more of a defense though um maybe like we'll grab ourselves like a super monkey and we'll upgrade the super monkey up to uh legend of the night that way if any balloons try to like give us a hard time by slipping out of the map our legend of the night will be able to deal with it now the only thing left to do is to uh, wait until round 119 uh after after of course we finish dealing with this boss which as you guys can probably tell we're easily going to be able to finish off this boss with no issues all right we're down to the uh, final tier and we have a uh, 400 health left and there we have it the apex plasma master ended up uh, finishing off the tier 4 blue nerd now the only thing left to do is to wait until round 119 and uh, buy our defense all right so here we are at the end of round 119 the only thing we have left to do is to sell all of our farms and set up our defense so in the end we ended up with with 2.2 million dollars all right so this is going to be our defense so we have our snipers we have the mad of course we have the navark of the seas we also ended up grabbing the glaive dominus uh we have the goliath doom ship so speaking of the goliath doom ship let's go ahead and change it's a bombing run over here we have the legend of the night in the very very back in case any balloons want to give us a hard time and of course we have the glue storm uh mid round i'm also going to be working on upgrading these druids up to poplus that way we can max out our avatar wrath and that's pretty much going to be our total defense for the elite lunarius all right so there's another poplus we need to make sure that we're paying attention to how much money we have there's our first bombing run let's go ahead and change the uh, path over here like so activate glue storm so our towers do a little bit more damage to the boss then we grab ourselves another pop plus let's upgrade the thorn swarm and then we do another bombing run and that bombing run didn't seem to do very much damage at all which i guess that's kind of all right because we have plenty more time to do a more bombing run let's do another bombing run and let's also upgrade uh, this druid up to a pop plus as well now again i'm getting a little bit worried about how far these the ddt blues are getting on the screen so i'll work on saving up the forty thousand dollars in order to buy carpet spikes because i think the carpet spikes should be able to help us out a little bit there's another bombing run uh we have the boss over halfway done now let's get ready to do another bombing run we'll go ahead and target the uh live doom ship over here uh drop the glue storm and get ready to do the bombing run here in just a second as soon as blue nerds rounds the corner and that should be good enough drop the bombs and there we go we have a uh, two uh, stars left and then we'll be uh, good to go man thank goodness for neighbor of the seas like if those ddt blues had me like super worried let's go ahead and set the uh, bombing run because we're gonna drop a bombing run again here in just a second and let's go ahead and drop the run so uh, there we go we are officially on the last tier and we just need one more bombing run in order to finish up the uh, tier 5 elite blue Narius. and we will have officially beaten our first elite boss on the map town center and there we go dudes we have a officially beaten elite blue Narius on town center super easy but i was a little bit concerned with the amount of money we had i thought we would have a lot more but in the end it, then it ended up work working out but anyways dudes, that could do it for the video if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys hit that like button and i'll see you dudes in the next one